That's how squeaky the waist on my black spidey. Black spidey's thigh here is quite tight and also uncomfortable to move, just like the waist. Listen to this sound. Uncomfortable squeaks that makes me nervous. I better do something about this before I break it. So, I will put some oil on it to lubricate the ball joint and socket. The question people are asking usually are, what kind of oil do I use? And how much oil is enough? Now I'm going to show you how I do it. I usually use a generic motor oil since that's what's available to me. You can use either 5W30 or 5W40. Both can work just fine. The important thing is, the oil needs to be quite thick. I used to use WD40, which is very thin and watery, but it just doesn't have any effect on some really tight joint. Okay, here's my motor oil. I put it in a small bottle with a pipette for easy usage. Now, I use a tweezer to drip the oil on the joints. This is how much oil I need to lubricate a tight joint. This amount is usually enough to loosen most tight joints. But you can always add some more if it's necessary. Just don't flood the joint. If it overflows, it might lubricate other joints that's already soft, making them too loose. Prepare a napkin to absorb the overflowing oil. I usually use toilet paper to absorb overflowing oil. It's thin enough to get into small gaps. And it's also a good absorbent. Now you can see here that the oil has covered all the ball joint. Look at the glossy surface. Now all you need is to notch the joint. Nudge it like a hammer drill, bit by bit. But repeatedly push in one direction until it budge. Now I'll do the other leg. Same amount of oil for it. It's well covered in oil now, as you can see. You can wipe the excess oil with the paper. Even after being oiled, the legs are still stiff, but not scary stiff. It's just easier to move. Reduce squeakiness and the joint stress. They don't become loose or wobbles as you can see here. Now let's take care of the waist. I cannot detach the abs. It's very tight. So I'll try to take a peek from the leg abs. Okay, I can see the joint from the bottom here, but it's too narrow to film on camera. Same treatment as before. Nudge it to all direction to spread the oil on the ball joint. The head is another good example. His head joint is tight fitted, like Mafex Iron Man's. It's very tight to move or rotate the head joint. You can see from my fingers how hard I need to squeeze it so I can move it. That's how tight it is. Now let's get some oil on the ball joint. This should be enough. It's still tight, but easier to move. I don't need to squeeze it as hard as before. 
less likely to break the rod. It will get easier to move when the oil has settled on the whole joint and socket. I'll also put some oil on the ball to make the head easier to pop back in. Absorbing excess oil here. This should be enough. As you can see, the joint is still tight, no wobbles, and I don't need to use as much strength as before to move it. This will work on Kuririn as well, or any action figures, I guess. I hope this is useful for you. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.